what is going down god bless you this morning uh, we just want to come before you giving you a couple words of encouragement uh, we just want to in the name of jesus start with um just a, a, a words of prayer father we thank you for your special name among men father god your loving kindness has been better than life father god we bless you right now we thank you father god because we know that if it had not been for the lord that was on our side we know we, we have not have made it father god we thank you father god because it is good for us that we have, have been afflicted that we have learned how to trust in the lord god bless you and keep you this morning and if you woke up this morning with breath in your body if you woke up this morning in the name of jesus glory to god still breathing and there still is hope Glory to God, but so we certainly, in the name of Jesus, want to thank God for life, health, and strength. But also, in the name of Jesus, we want to thank you, hallelujah, for tuning in with us uh, just for this short time. i um, got a couple of scriptures that I want to read. Romans 15 and 13 says, um, excuse me, um, 2 Corinthians 5 and 7 says, For we live by faith, not by sight. We walk by faith, not by sight. We live by faith not by sight you know we would lose our mind if we was just to just to be thinking about what's going on in this world glory to god we will be fearful we'll be doubting we'll be in the name of jesus uh, full of anxiety that's why the bible talks about walking by faith living by faith and not by sight hallelujah when you look at the world look at everything that's going on right now um with with wars and rumors of wars with Hallelujah, gas prices with COVID, with politics, with different things that have been going on in our lives. And if we walk by all that sight, we walk by all that thing that is going on, then we will lose sight of him who's able to deliver us and set us free. Glory to God. So that's why we walk by faith and not by sight. We want to look up for our redemption draw of now. We know that God is able to make us sin. The Bible says this, trust the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to him. And he will uh, make your path straight, according to Proverbs chapter 3, around verse 5 and 6. Listen, glory to God. Another thing is saying, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not unto your own understanding. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Don't lean to the understanding of of Fox News, or CNN, or MS, NBCs, or, or the BBC. Uh, uh, trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not into your own understanding. And another, another one says this, may he give you the desires of your heart, and make all your plans succeed. Psalms 24, may he give you the desires of your heart, and listen, may he make all your plans succeed. Glory to God. Jesus said unto her, I am the resurrection and the life, and the one who believes in me will live, even though they die, and whoever lives by believing in me will never die. Do you believe this? According to John chapter 11. Listen, glory to God. Listen, in the name of Jesus, this world is not our home. Glory to God. The last enemy that shall be defeated is death. And I do believe that God, in the name of Jesus Christ at Nazareth, shall defeat, has defeated death when he rose from the grave with all power in his hand. Hallelujah. The Bible says also that they reply, believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved. You and your household, according to Acts 16, you know, and, and, and around verse 31. Listen, believe in the Lord Jesus and you will be saved. You and your household. That's what you got to do in these last days. Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and you shall be saved. When I am afraid, I put my trust in you, according to Psalms 56 and 3. The Lord himself goes before you and will be with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged, according to Deuteronomy 31 and 8. Be joyful in hope and patient in affliction, faithful in prayer, according to Romans 12, 12. Lord, you are my God. I will exalt you and praise your name. For in perfect faithfulness, you have done wonderful things, things planned long ago. Isaiah 25 and 1. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sins and hear the land. You got healing coming. And so we know that and rely on the love of God has for us. God is love. Whoever lives in love lives in God and God in them. 
according to first john chapter 4 and now these three remain faith hope and love but the greatest of these is love first corinthians 13 13 and when you pass through the waters i will be with you and when you pass through the rivers they will not sweep over you when you walk through the fire you will not be burned hallelujah that is uh, the flames will not will not will not set you ablaze this is isaiah 43 and Two. Listen, right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we have a lot of things, my God, to be thankful for. We got a lot of things, my God, to be encouraged in. And I want you to be encouraged this morning. God bless you and keep you. Listen, if it's a word, then I must have did it. And if it's not, then I wasn't with it. Stay committed. God bless you and keep you.